Um, the inner chips on my Camille bike has a little bit of problem. It has a little bit of slow leak and I try to patch it multiple times and then it come to a stage that I say enough is enough and I committed some research and then order a bunch of new inner chip and it has arrived. So this video I'm gonna go through my experience of buying this set of new um, right now right here right now in a chip my experience of purchasing them using them for two weeks two three weeks and then finally we'll look at whether I would keep on them on the bike or just put out together all right let's roll with it so first of all I want to talk about the purchasing experience now this is the first time I really buy items from Aliexpress I don't know what to expect so when I go on the website first time it is actually everywhere stuff everywhere and it's a little bit difficult to navigate um, there is multi shops that are selling this product so some of them would have free shipping some of them would give you discount when you combine multiple of them so I think it's best to look around a little bit and look for the product that you want. Uh, with their website, make sure when you click the photo, it actually change the product and change the price. That is something that I'm not aware when I first use it, but you get used to it as you use it more really. Um, and again, unless you buy a, a large quantity, maybe 10 plus, probably the price is not gonna be a huge difference. But Anyway, I roll with it and then I bought a few of them and a few weeks later it arrived at my place. So I have been able to actually unpack them, install it on my bike rather for two weeks. So let's look at the, the product itself. This is something that I already taken out from the box. It actually feel pretty good, feel pretty solid and it's actually packed it quite well when it arrived. Um, so when I first installed it, um, one trick to, to do it is you inflate it a little bit of air before you sort of sort of pop it on the tire. It helps it hold the shape and it helps it not to bend or twist it in self, uh, inside. Because when I first installed my first one, forgot to do it and it actually have a twist in there so it inflated a little bit weird. So I ended up taking it off, redo it and it came good. Um, so compared to other chip or other TPU chip that I have got um, yeah I don't have any major quality concern about using it one thing is really nice is it actually give you a little bit of rubber um, on the valve body itself not too sure you can see it probably in here what it does is allow you, um, the valve to, to stop the vibration when it actually rolling I think this is very nice touch of the product so let's look at how does this compare to build child and latex chip more from a, a commuting perspective because ultimately this is a commute bike i set it for commute i didn't set it up for a race or club ride or anything like that so looking at the way there is um so first of all i have got this trusty old build child with a patch in there because i've been patching this um it weighted 105 gram and I've also been using latex in my other wheels, so I also got latex in there. It weighed 54 gram. And come to right, right, uh, weighting this tube in here, it actually come to by, me by surprise. On the box itself, it says claim it 36 gram. I rated two of them. The first one come to 33, the second one come to 32, which is a quite a nice surprise to me. Now, this is almost like 10% saving if you think about that. So, probably weight is probably not the most important things when you actually ride, uh, in comparison, probably the ride feeling. You want to make sure you feel right and you feel good when you're riding on it. So this is actually quite proximity with um, more on the latex feeling or more on an expensive uh, TPU chip feeling which is quite closely compared and uh, definitely uh, you can feel the difference between this compared to a standard butyl tube um, but in terms of a day-to-day -day sort of Camille do you really need it my answer is no 
but it does feel good, right? From a feeling perspective. And then if you think about pricing, right now, uh, this build child, if you buy bow, you're probably spending six or seven dollar Aussie um, per, uh, per tile. Um, and if you're buying some of the latex one, um, I've seen something from $15 to $25. Some of the more expensive, uh, it can even go further. But looking at $15, $20 would probably be, be a normal range, which is same as this. So it's kind of really close proximity, um, apart from butyl, like the pricing is pretty similar. Now, you might also want to ask is how does this compare to a, a more expensive, this is a, a, a $40 uh, TPU chip. Uh, I think it's called Aerothon uh, from Swampball. Uh, the ride feeling is really similar, but the difference is this is a little bit heavier. I weighted it, this weight 47 gram. It also, this is probably a longer valve version as well. This is for my sort of, um, sort of a, a good set of wheels. Um, and it is has more material and it, it feel a bit more solid compared to this lightweight product, lightweight uh, inner chip. However, in terms of the wide ride feeling, I wouldn't feel a huge difference in there. So looking at a massive price difference, this is kind of do, uh, doing a really good positioning, right? So lastly, what I want to look at is is it practical as a commuting bike to running these lightweight chips in there, right? So first of all, when you look at commuting, what I want to look at is air retention, how well it hold pressure. Because like, I don't want to use a latex chip in there despite they are really good feeling. You will be end up pumping your tire every day, which is for commuting, it sucks, right? So um, I have putting it in, I measured every week. Um, so in the last two weeks, and on an average, it lost between 10 to 15 PSI. I pump it up to about, I would say 75, 78. Um, and that's the range that I operate at the end of the week. I pump it up on Monday at the end of the maybe Saturday, Sunday, it dropped to, it dropped about 10 to 15, depends on what, how hard I ride throughout the week. So to me, that is acceptable. I wouldn't be too fuss in terms of our oh, lost 10 PSI, I have to pump it up straight away. So what now I would practice in reality is I only need to pump it up once a week. So every Monday before I take it out, go to work, I just pump it up, it's good for the week. It's pretty good setup. Uh, even like it doesn't compare to Biota. Biota is, is the king in terms of um, air retention in my opinion. I can use this set of tire, uh, a brand new set of tire, uh, sorry, tube uh, for three or four weeks without pumping it up. That's, it's, that's my experience. And the next thing that we look at is the puncture protection and reliability because uh, in commuting, there is a lot of variables. You don't want to get stuck when you go, when you're running late, or uh, you get stuck, end up you're getting late to work or you want to, don't want to go home dimmer late, right? So uh, the puncture protection is quite important. Now I must say, I haven't been riding long enough to tell the true difference between this and other inner tube. It, Precive, at least for for me right now, the precive value they are very similar um, to even butyl and latex. I've been running latex for a little bit of time, running as commu. I haven't had any really problem. I think the key things about the puncture protection is on the tire itself rather than in your chip. That's been what I've experienced. Now, one thing finally is the repairability in here. That is really interesting um, because this actually right now um, product, you can actually order a patch kit, which I've got in here. What does it give you is give you some of a patch using the same, pretty much the same material on the chip itself. Now, what does it give you is also give you a rubber cement I find it right quite interesting. This is just a standard rubber cement, nothing really special. Um, so you could potentially not needing this, but just using some old tube, 
cut it up using standard rubber cement and it might work. Now I have not had the experience repairing just yet. Maybe once I've got some of those hands-on experience, I'll post an update accordingly, all right? So now I'd come to concluding this, right? So the final question will be, will I keeping this on the bike? And I must say yes for the foreseeable future. In terms of the cost of running it is relatively similar to other options, but provide much better filling um, and it holds the retention. I think it's kind of find the balance. Now, obviously you don't have to buy this standard build out chip uh, at work as easy it works as the same now i'll keep this because i can and i'll run it as long as i'm uh, probably before i convert it to tubeless i've got another uh, plan about setting up tubeless not on this bike but on other bike which i will probably do a, a different video uh, altogether all right so thank you for watching this video if you enjoy this video please click the like button and you can also subscribe to support this channel as well. Enjoy your ride. Thank you.